your stories. Are you ever working on a resume? You're staring at your computer screen and you know it's close to being ready, but there's something just a little bit off. But when you look at your screen, it's like all the words running together and you can't tell one bullet point from the other. My advice is to step away from the screen, print out your resume or write out all your bullet points on a piece of paper and then do this. So then you want to take all of those accomplishment bullet points, either printed or written out, and just cut them into little strips. So this immediately takes you away from the screen, gets you to engage with the stories that you've told. So now you have a bunch of strips of paper and each strip is an accomplishment. You can read each one out loud. I encourage you to read one out loud. I wrote fake ones for this video, but the first one is coordinated a big thing. If I can think of a better way to write that, then I can write the edit right on the piece of paper. And then I wanna think, okay, where on my resume should I tell this story? It, because it's a big thing, I probably wanna tell it at the top. My second bullet point is Rana Circus, which is important for the job I'm applying for, but not that important, so I know I want it towards the bottom. So go through each accomplishment bullet that you have and just lay it down in an order that you think makes the most sense, reading each story out loud and making edits as you want. So now you have all these strips of paper, you have your stories in a new way, go back to your Word document, put in any edits that you made and then change around the order of the stories. And this is just one way of taking your resume and working with the stories in a different way.